What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Linda Britt, also known as Pee Wee, coming to you straight from the dungeon one more time. I want to bring you another motivational message as we work toward those goals. Once again, you know I like making you think a little bit. So, I'm going to ask you this question. Today's title, let me first tell you this, is Desire. Where do you want to be? Desire, where you want to be. All right, first, let me start by defining the word desire. Let me, look, let me open this up real quick. Desire means to wish or long for, to crave or to want. Now, when you talk about desire, you're not talking about, I just want something. I just wish I could have something. To desire something is a strong want. It is a craving, like it says. You crave it. You, you go after it wholeheartedly for whatever it may be. You really want that. Nothing can stop you until you get that. So let me ask you a question. Do you have a specific desire for your life that you want to achieve? If so, what is it? Take the time, think about it, write it down, whatever it may be. In order for you to work towards something in life, a lot of people, some people are just kind of working because they don't know what they want to do. And that's typically the kids that are growing up, you kind of reach the college stage, you don't know exactly what you want to do to be able to, uh, what you want to be in college or whatever it may be. But if you have that mindset, if you know what you want, it becomes a desire for you. When it's a desire, you wake up thinking about it. You go to sleep thinking about it. Throughout your day, it's always on your mind. Whatever it may be, that's a desire. When you have it constantly on your mind, that nothing's going to stop you from, a, from accomplishing. Brings you to uh, question number two. Do you see yourself pursuing that desire? If so, how aggressively? How aggressively do you see yourself really going for that, uh, that desire? Fulfilling that desire? I mean, how, how aggressively can you really see yourself going for it? If you kind of just, I'll go do it, uh, sometimes it may not be a desire of yours. If, if you have a desire, desire can be tied in with passion. You, you're very passionate about doing something, no matter what it may be. You have a strong desire and it creates a passion within you to fulfill it, to aggressively go toward until you accomplish it. That brings you to question number three. Do you see yourself fulfilling that desire? Do you see yourself fulfilling that desire? If so, how long? How long will it take? Let me first off tell you this. Success has no time limit or restraints. So while you're thinking you have a desire, you want to have it done by a specific time. People set goals all the time. You don't always reach those goals by that specific time, but that's okay. That's okay. Success has no time limits. Success comes when it wants to. They always say success comes when opportunity meets preparation. When you're, when you're going for your goals, you're aggressively going for it. You're preparing yourself for that opportunity to be able to achieve success. But you have to see yourself actually accomplishing that thing to really go for it. How many times have you had something in your mind and you say, I'm, I'm going to go for this, I'm going to go for this, I'm about to do this. But if it's some some kind of kind of kind of thought came in your head, I'll never be able to do this. Maybe I'll never be able to be the captain of this team, or I'll never be able to be the district manager, branch manager over that person. When you think like that, you don't wholeheartedly pursue what it is that you have that desire for. It takes that desire away. So you have to make sure that you have it in your head that I can do this. I can be this. You have to have it in your head. You have to see yourself fulfilling that desire in order to wholeheartedly go for it. All right, so I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you a question. Give you kind of give you an example, okay? Um, and it's kind of a, a, a business sense. If it costs you one hundred dollars to get in, get into an opportunity, get involved with an opportunity, and within three years, it took you three years. Three years seem like a long time when you're living day to day, but it took you three years to become financially independent and not have to work for anybody, anything else. Would that hundred dollar investment be worth it? Most people say yes. Okay, so what if it costs you five hundred dollars? A lot of people still think in three years I can still be financially independent. Yeah, that's still worth it. Okay, so what if it costs you a thousand dollars? It's kind of pushing it at the time. It's kind of hard to have a thousand dollars right now, but if I was financially independent in three years, yeah, it'd still be worth it. It's kind of as you kind of get from a lot of people like that. Well, that's exactly kind of what mar that, That's exactly what marketing is. Marketing gives you opportunity to be your own business owner. And gives you the opportunity to become financially free over time if you put the work in. Like I said, success has no time limits. People a lot of times get involved with business opportunities and they see that everything that they desire, everything that they want, but it's not in front of them within 
three, four, maybe five months, and they're gone. They walk away from it. Keep that desire. Keep that fire burning. A lot of people think, if I don't see it with success within this amount of time, it's not worth it. It doesn't work. Stick with it. Keep that desire. Okay? Now, this was only an example, but it makes, it, it puts it in, I wanted to put it in perspective. Lots of people get introduced to opportunities all the time. All the time. And I want you to realize, look at one of those that you find to be very, very attractive to you and wholeheartedly go after. The one thing a lot of people don't know how to do is brand themselves to learn how to grow their business. They get into a business based on what somebody told them they can make, not what they see in front of them that they can make. What I mean by that, somebody tell you, you can make $1,000 a month. You believe that you go out and you don't make $1,000 a month, a lot of people are going. You have to see yourself making a thousand. Okay, maybe I don't make it today, but I can make it tomorrow. All right, maybe I don't make it tomorrow. Start thinking long term. Think long term down the road. Thousand dollars is not all you want, is it? Start thinking long term. All right, introduce yourself to an opportunity that you may love and learn how to market and brand yourself. Now, in order to learn how to market and brand yourself, there are systems located that, um, there's a system inside of that uh, link right there below. MLSP, I mean, that's MLMMarketingSecret.com. Learn how to brand yourself in market. Get involved with something you love and learn how to get your opportunity in front of people and fulfill that desire that you have when it comes to business. All right? No matter what you do, I don't care if you're in real estate, if you're in, in fitness, if you're in uh, the medical field, whatever, learn how to brand yourself and market yourself where people know who you are and they come to you looking for what you want to offer. All right, so y'all make sure y'all have a blessed day. If this was any value for you, if you feel it, uh, a comment, I'm asking that you please put it down. Let me know what you thought and like and share with other people. I want to have them have others thinking about the desires that they have, and I want them to start pursuing their goals as well. I want to help you pursue your goals and accomplish your goals by helping you uh, any way possible, especially when it comes to thinking, getting the mindset of a business owner. All right, so y'all make sure you subscribe at the same time. And once again, oh, just for liking, uh, just for keeping up with me, make sure you keep up with the blog, MLSP Sites. I mean, I'm sorry, LindenBrit.MLSPSites.com. Keep up with the blog. I'm going to them, keep them coming to you. And because you watch the blog, I'm going to give you something free. I'm going to give you an hour and a half uh, webinar by six-figure earner Diane Hockman. She's a marketing. And the name of the... Um, Webinar is Daily Marketing Routines of Ultra Business Successful uh, Home Business Owners. Daily Marketing Routines of Ultra Successful Home Business Owners. She's going to give you some tips. Six figure earners. She's giving you some tips on how to be successful as a home business owner. All right. So y'all make sure y'all have a blessed day. I'll give you this free if you click the link at the very bottom of the description. All right. So make sure you check that out if you want tips and get your notepad out because she's going to give you some information that you definitely can start applying today. All right, so y'all have a blessed day. Thank you for your time. See y'all tomorrow.